Hello and welcome to Mzanzu Back. It's that time where we have to give you something. Obviously, we don't just go live if there's nothing. And uh, we try to take a break as much as we can before uh, the big days, obviously. And we have other news that we now and then drop. So, one journalist is accused of uh, weakening the case, allegedly. Mm. Uh, when he drops some really big and what we call bombs... Which, yeah, is, one is which are alleged uh, about Longwe Twala during the incident of Senzo Meiwa. One of you will remember uh, when we talk about Senzo Meiwa, what happened in what other people tame as Spaza Shop. If it's Spaza Shop, what do you mean Spaza Shop, the court case? No. What is it? Is the house. Shop? No. Oh, you mean the house, the Spaza house. Oh, <laughs> This puzzle house. Yeah. So, just gonna, we just want to go through this because there's a yeah. lot of air. And uh, other people, they say, ah, we want you guys there's, to talk about this current, thing. There's a current befellment. There's a current a fight. I wouldn't call it a fight. What What's a word I can yeah. use? It's like, a, you know, some would, would tame it as a battle of the whistleblowers. I don't know how to tame it, but it, it's it's weird energy. It's something that I, I, I've I've contemplated on sharing with you guys, but I was just like, mm, let let me hold it. You know, I, I don't I don't I don't want to to, to jump yeah, we, the gun. We're definitely still gonna hold some of the things because you know how, and and I'm sorry because when we do that, uh, uh, other people get confused. But there are things that you just would rather watch f- from far. Watch them unfold. Yes, as they unfold. But this one, I feel like uh, it's time. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Anonymous even insisted that it's time. Mm. Let us just talk and tell our family about this because... Yeah, when, when, when someone raised it, um, one of uh, definitely our subscriber, I think, because he's, he just WhatsApped us, say, what, you, what, what is our take on this? And then I said, no... Fine, let's do it. We we, we don't want to be caught in between mm, mm. Uh, in this thing. We still want to be independent, and we are independent, I would like to believe. But there are things that are happening that one might look at and think they are small, but they are not, actually. Yeah, let me break it down, okay? There is a whistleblower slash investigative journalist. Yeah. I, I don't like even that. Okay, maybe let us not call her a whistleblower because she is an investigative journalist. She, yeah. She, she or she. Why am I saying he or she? Because the pseudonym, she's using a pseudonym. It's not even the real name of yeah. the person behind these um, exposés or sure. these um, articles that they write. Sure. I, I'm not sure about the actual identity of the person behind it, mm. but they go by the name Bas Kruger. Yeah. And she revealed a lot of information pertaining to Longwe Twala yeah. specifically yeah. in the Sinzo Meiwa case. Mm-hmm. Some might say the information is exclusive, so everything in this video is alleged. Yeah. It's allegedly. Yeah. Okay. And obviously we're putting we, that disclaimer out there. We use what is in public and it's a public account. It's a public thing. Uh, people who've seen it will attest to what we are talking about. Mm. It's been making the rounds on social media. So Bas Kruger posted on Sunday, the seventh of April. That is today. Yeah. Okay. And her post was very interesting. She said, urgent notice, the ongoing private discussions occurring. So I was contacted. This is Bas Kruger, not me. Mm. It's Bas, Uti. So I was contacted by an intermediary informing me that one of the defense lawyers in the Sinzo Meiwa murder trial sought my assistance of which I obliged. However, I now see that this was an attempt to track me down. Mm. Remember how we always emphasize, you guys, that this case is like, uh, it's not safe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
So she also did this expose that I'm going to share later on. And she's saying that that expose regarding Longwe Twala is the reason why she feels that she's being sought after or they are being sought after. Mm. And she is putting it in a manner to say that her life is now, she's feeling like it's in danger. Okay. Yeah. She's saying that the defense, one of the defense lawyers was contacting her and only to find out that they were being used or that defense lawyer was being used to track her down. That's her allegation. Mm. Now, she's saying of which she obliged. However, now she sees that this was an attempt to track her down. And she won't speculate the reasons. However, there's also proof that a brother to the late Senzo Meiwa has voiced frustrations and anger at him or, or at her or them for the expose article that she did. And uh, he claims that uh, she's ruining the case. She's saying, I would like to say that'll that... That would be what? Sfiso? Uh, it alleged, um, Allegedly. So basically they are saying here, this uh, journalist Kruger, yes. is saying that uh, Sfiso is not happy about it. Yes, she's not, he's not happy with the expose that she did mm. on Longwe Twala. And she's saying that uh, they are saying she's ruining the case. Mm by revealing that information. Mm -hmm. And she's saying, I would like to say that I'm confused as to why he holds this view because the issues I raised in my article don't form any part of the points being presented and discussed in court by either the defense or the prosecution. Mm -hmm. So they have no bearing whatsoever on the case. So it's uncalled for. Like and anyone, she, she's been speculating then. Yes. Mm. And right now, it's a big hoo-ha with what she's released. But there are other people who've been speaking on the case. Mm. Why isn't it a big hoo-ha when they are talking? But however, when she releases this piece of information, they are saying people that... People get irritated or agitated. That's my, like, the reason why mainly I, I got interested to talk about it is that what's the big hoo-ha? Mm. It's not like this information that she's just released um, is somehow um, going to, I don't see how it's going to even ruin the case because so far mm. we've seen the progression, guys. Come on, what what is there to ruin at this point? In my opinion, yeah. I see that a lot of people may feel otherwise. Oh, no, the case is not yet over. But with the developments that we've been following as Mzanti reality over that court case, to me... I, I don't see what the train smash is. I don't see what the big deal is with this information that she just released. Yeah. And unfortunate for him to ponder uh, such views. And although I harbor my own conscience mm. to um, his uh, real reasons for his discontent, I will not publicly speculate. So the point of this notice I issue now is to state that given the attempts to track me down, this is the journalist that they're trying to track, track down, along with the views held by Sinzo's brother, they put me directly in the thick of this matter, of which is unjustified because I'm merely a journalist doing my work. Therefore, such inclusion in a highly sensitive case of public interest where a number of witnesses have died under strange circumstances, including an SAPS officer and his wife, I have no other line of thinking than to be on high alert of my own life. Therefore, I have no other option at my disposal than to reveal all the remaining information I have on this matter as to be free of safekeeping information at risk to my own peril, so I'm beginning to write my final article on this matter. And she's saying that she will reveal all the facts, mm. right? Mm. So many of you might wonder what previous post is she referring to and what is she talking about? Because there's a post that she shared about a month ago. Yeah. And it revealed secret exclusive information about Longwe Twala, which is alleged, of course. Yeah. At which point um, that we now have to discuss. Yeah. 
The post that she shared on this was headed explosive revelations. What really happened in the house where Senzo Meiwa died? Mm-hmm. She issued a disclaimer first and said, I must first issue a stand disclaimer that I publish this highly sensitive information in both my duty to report illegal activity and further that it's too dangerous to withhold such information I received as a known investigative journalist. Yeah. Although I have the numbers of all those implicated, I couldn't contact them for right to response before publishing because it's too dangerous. Mm. To cut to the chase, I will not narrate or make any conclusions, but will only present the facts at my disposal. Mm-hmm. Longwa Twala had a gunshot wound to the ankle, and his wound was septic. Mm-hmm. And he was on Tramazac Schedule 5 drug, or D-R-U-G. My apologies. Mm. There was a certain doctor who was the first to attend to Longwe in November of 2014. This was a certain Dr. Michisi S. Mbatsane, and I have both the practice and ID number of this doctor. Yeah. I also have both this doctor's personal cell phone number along with his emergency number and other separate number that Longwe's father, Chiko Twala, used to call this doctor to check up on the progress mm. on... Longwe. Mm-hmm. Longwe made regular visits to the surgery of Dr. Mbazana at 199 Ibn Cycler. I don't want to mention the entire address yeah. in case yeah. YouTube yeah. stuff. Mm. So I will just cut it there. During the period of December 2014, Chico called Dr. Mbazana on the separate number. Chico was using a number that started with 082 and another that started with 061. Longwe was then referred to a certain doctor at Rand Hospital for possible surgery and removal of bullets. This is Dr. Mudise, and this doctor is Chico's cousin. Everything is alleged. Mm. Dr. Mudise, who who removed the bullet illegally, is still working at Rand Hospital and it's because Dr. Mudise is Chico's cousin. And that's why this doctor did Chico this favor of an undocumented illegal surgery of removing the bullet. Mm. Longwe was on crutches due to the bullet which was on his ankle. Now it makes sense why Zandi Kumalo was quick to say she was injured on the ankle after the first shot. She was covering up for Longwe not to be investigated for injuries. Mm. Allegedly, allegedly. I'm just here reporting the news. Brigadier Gininda then went looking for someone who had an ankle injury in prison to suit this narrative. This is where I pause and I take you down memory lane where there were allegations coming from um, accused number five mm. and I think three as well yeah. where they said they had to take off their shoes mm-hmm. when they were being uh, looked at mm. or when they were suspects and still being investigated in relation to um, the case of Senzo Meiwa, there was a yes, point where they yes. said they, they, had had to take they had to take off their off shoes. Their shoes in even and then even accused number, number three five refused. Mm. They said accused number five refused to take off his shoes. Mm. Mm. I don't know how many of you remember that. Yeah, piece of we do. Even accused number three, I think. Even accused number three. Yeah, accused uh, number three, in fact, took them off and they didn't find any marks. Marks, yes. And then at the time before this information, the assumption was that. Uh, there might have been that grazing because of the shot that, um, I mean, I would say if this is true, um, uh, then what they were doing there, it sort of worked in a sense because it now made us to focus on, on, on injuries that Zandi was talking about and only to find out actually that was 
allegedly a cover up for what mm-hmm. actually happened and they're saying which is very interesting because i ask myself i'm like they've even added a charge of attempted murder with regards to zandi's allegation that she was shot on the foot but where's the doctor she just didn't say she was shot she said that there was peeling that happened because of of the bullet i think or oh, the fragment the fragment but then yes. where's the doctor's note there was no doctor's note and no one would ever ask for that in any case uh, uh, only only the accused are asked to prove and yet they added attempted murder mm. so let me continue reading Brigadier Gininda then went on looking for someone who had an ankle injury in prison to suit this narrative, right? Yeah. And in 2015, the wife to Chico Twala ordered that her medical aid should no longer be used to get longer medication as it was exhausted mm. and uh, that it didn't stop. If it didn't stop, she would re- report Dr. Mbatsan, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Mm. So here they're saying that uh, Chico Twala's wife in 2015 ordered the medical aid, that her medical aid was getting exhausted because of these expensive substances that Longwen needed for the injury. Mm. And then she ordered this doctor who had done allegedly the illegal operation because it wasn't recorded down mm. um, to stop. Otherwise, she would report this doctor. Mm. So the medication was then taken under the children's names as a cover-up. Mm. Zagani, who is Chico's cousin, is also aware of this whole transaction. Allegedly, allegedly. Everything is alleged. And we take it from the public Yes. Information. A certain Norman who was Dr. Mbatsana's messenger that used to take medication to Longwe died mysteriously. Mm-mm. Chico must be publicly challenged to check to take Longwe to a district surgeon to determine the cause of the injury on Longwe's ankle. She said that my confidants have checked out the cell phone numbers and they all confirmed there's the now publicly known existence of docket number two, which is docket 375, of which the Gauteng Director of Public Prosecutions took a decision not to prosecute in this matter of Sinzo Meiwa. I must say that I don't know the contents of this docket 375, but I can only question as to why it wasn't prosecuted or if it contains these details in this article. She also shared another disclaimer to say that I share this information as received for my sources both in the duty to report unlawful activity and that it's too dangerous to withhold and can by no way be held accountable for any of this information therein where in the instance I'm called upon to defend myself, I will produce um, I will produce the valid supporting proof then it said kind regards so yeah this was so this is someone who's not afraid of um being taken down that rabbit hole so to me this is quite interesting it's very interesting so in summary what is being shared here which is all alleged unless if uh, they say otherwise. It's allegedly, allegedly, we were not there, remember. Yeah. But they're saying that uh, Longwe was shot on the night of the incident. And on probably the ankle. if that happened, that would be what, during the so-called allegedly scuffle. Yes, in the house. Mm-hmm. And uh, he got injured on the foot. And the injury was so bad that he needed to be operated on. Mm. And uh, they had a cousin doctor, his father, his cousin, who's a doctor, had a surgery. And they took him there. And they did not record this operation that they performed on him. And uh, 
that also would put the doctor, if this is anything to go by, um, in a very compromising position because yeah, complex or something, something. Yeah, and and now he, it's alleged that uh, he operated on him and also had these uh, heavy substances that he had to use for long way in order to numb the pain and the wife of Chico Twala at the time in 2015, her medical aid was being used for all of this. And she requested that they stop because it was becoming exhausted. And she even threatened that if you guys don't stop using my medical aid, I am going to literally report you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then now... This journalist, investigative journalist, says that she has information to back up all of these claims. And now they're saying that this information that she has revealed, it's too much. Mm. Other people are saying she's releasing this information. And she's saying that because of this, Sfiso Meiwa is also saying that she's compromising the case. Mm. She's getting reports that Sin Senzo Meiwa is not happy with this article that she released on Sfiso Meiwa, yes. Sfiso Meiwa. It it all is alleged, guys. So she's saying that uh, she can no longer hold on to this information. She feels it's important that it be made public. And I'm dizzy as to... Already there are other people talking already. We, we've seen, we've heard. But then why is this particular information if compromising indeed the case? If what is what true. they are saying or what is he is saying is true, that there is a bit of uneasiness that How is happening is when he speaks about this. Yeah, it's something to be questioned. If indeed there is such. How is it compromising? That's the part I'm stuck at and I don't understand because there's already worse off information that has been shared. Mm. And on top of that, it's not like the lawyers are using the information either way. Yeah, no. I remember when we reported on the whole issue of Kwabeni and... Uh, that was Zulu. unaccounted for up until today, like uh, where, where Zungu... Um, sort of mentioned uh, about talking talking about Kwabini, what happened in 2017, in 2014 though. Yes. Because he says he was in that house during that night, right? Yes. Of whatever that happened. Yes. And then all of a sudden you talk about the incident that happened 2017. 2017. Of that uh, uh, Kwabini being Allegedly, ex no, it's Nako, allegedly accidentally shot. Yes, by Kwabin. By Kwabin. And, and, and now... And then Kwabin answers to say, hey, um, I, I threw that one in the, in the, in the water, the, the dam, river. the river, or something like that. Mm. And, and that was never followed properly for me because it was a mixture of things. It was a scramble of things. If really what happened, uh, what we are told, it happened to Snaco in 2017, and then when you are talking about it as if it happened in 2014, mm. and you are putting it down there on on your statement, and you are not questioned about that, mm -mm. so that that was never uh, asked, and it, it 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 left us baffled. I was baffled. I was like, this information alone can break whatever. Zungu was, was saying, saying and it's not being used so now when uh, this other journalist is sharing this specific information about Longwe and we already received information that he is going to testify allegedly allegedly it could change it could apparently change. There, are, there are developments others claiming that they might not uh, bring this man on on uh, understand it could change it could change you know, we, we just had the judge also talking about long way by mistake. If it's a mistake, I don't know. Mm, bringing him up in the court. In the in court the where day. there was really no talk of him. So, so. That from there, we were like, oh, maybe it's because they are, he's close to coming.
So I don't understand how what they mean when they are saying that she's compromising it. Oh, compromising he the case. or she. He or she or they. Because I don't know who's running that account. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, this is explosive information. It's all alleged. Um, we don't, we can't verify it at this point. But it's very interesting. So basically, what we are saying is that. There are a lot of things that are said in that case, and they are probably missed. I don't know. Maybe they are missed, or maybe it's it's a strategy. I don't know. But I mean, uh, we we talk about it. Everyone talks about it. But this man is saying one, two, three. Here's the new information. Here's the proof. And then it's not a it's not an issue. Why is it an issue when one person who's also an investigative journalist talks about it? If indeed what they are saying is 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 really uh, the issue, why why is it such a big hoo ha? Because that's what I've been trying to figure out all along. I'm like, yo, they're like, no, if you're compromising the case, you're compromise. I'm like, but how? Because already there's so much information going around on social media with regards to this case. It's like nobody can speak about it except for certain people. Yeah, that that, that becomes the problem. Th- that's why I don't entertain the issue of independent people talking about it. I don't like to entertain it because uh, it seems as if there's sort of ownership of Who who's supposed speak? to say certain things and, exactly. and, and then uh, 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 curious me always questions that because if if you are allowed to speak, what is special about you? Hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. What is special about you if you, if you are allowed to do your so called job that is similar to other person, and that person speaks, when the other person speaks, it becomes a a, a very big hoo ha that really now it, it must be. I think this case is, that, is at a point where it's a national issue. Everyone who's got uh, ways of doing their own research and doing their own expose are allowed to do that. You see that by people, a lot of people doing this case. You know, they, 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 they can never be a group uh, that is is what... It's always right about this case. Obviously, this is a story that is wide open. Anyone can come with a theory. T4 came with a theory that uh, the shooting might have been allegedly done by uh, uh, Kelly. Mm-hmm. Today, we are hearing uh, people talking about a, uh, she might have been the mastermind. So, the theory of the intruder going on. And then, Today, I saw a video of SABC1 sort of pushing that narrative, allegedly. What narrative? They, they are talking about the, the issue of, uh, uh, seems as if they are pushing for Kelly. Mm. It seems as if they are saying uh, she's coming. It, that's how I, 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 I was, she's coming. She must be part of that in a sense that, that that is how the video felt like because i mean there was nothing new about what they were reporting about they're talking about the twist of 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 things in census case and then they talk about kwabini they they bring the voice of kwabini they bring the testimonies the the, the, the confessions Kabini, not zungu. zungu yeah zungu and then they they bring the confessions mm. uh, 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 those people who are reading the confessions and, and then they, they are saying both these confessions have one person as the mastermind. And what worried me about that is that you are talking about the mastermind, but what about the fact that those statements are talking about two different groups? It's like they're ignoring that part. You, you know, like... It's so disturbing. <laughs> like, I don't understand where we are at. It feels like in Mzansi reality, we are watching a different court case to everyone else. It's very strange. Because how are they overlooking that these two confessions are talking about two sets of different people? And focus on 
one part. Yes, there was a mastermind allegedly according to the confession. You skip the part where another confession says there Talking was three two, people in the house. Yes, two different with groups. a different set of the so-called uh, um Gabis. And then another confession is talking about different Gabis. You overlook all of that and you go to the common mastermind. Yes, you, you find jump one all point. of that. Yes, yes. That is not important. What is uh, important is the mastermind. How 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 do we overlook those 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 It is an art of reporting that has been used for years. If you ask me, it's an art of reporting that has been used for years. When when one say that the media, most media, are captured to speak certain narratives. It's very troubling. It, it is just troubling to, to have a well-known public media only just extracting the common part, which is mastermind. What are you peddling? What what do you want to see about that? What do you want people? What to is a, yeah? What is an Because already goal? that confusion is happening again, yeah. where there's a huge majority of people that are even coming on the comment section. Some of them are watching perhaps the deliberations that we do, the live streams. Maybe they are popping up on their home pages, and they they are coming with fighting. It's like now they are believing that those confessions are watertight in the someone was i think I, I i i checked the comment someone talking about the science uh science never lie what science because of the ballistic part that was paused actually not the finished. one that you mean the one that was paused yes the one that so Mangena according to, to yes according to them it, 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 it speaks the truth did you hear mangena's testimony no, no, my my worry is that if you go back, you go back to how first of all before you talk about these theories of how uh, a science is always right, Big Bang theory, mm. science is always right. So go back to the situation where we are talking about how that evidence was captured. How was that evidence captured? just to 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 remind you first of all these these cartridges mm. they were looked after they were looked at they they didn't find any mm -mm. right initially, initially by two right, police officers by two police who officers were first on the yes, scene yes who were first on the scene and yeah. his colleague they until looked, they got inside the kitchen and yes. they saw no cartridges yes until the scene was contaminated. I'm taking these words from some of the people who were in the house. Mm. Uh, you would look at someone like uh, Sbia, for example, who said the scene might have been uh, co contaminated. In fact, it's the same was contaminated on the on the on that. Uh, no, he said it might have been the one who actually said it by saying the scene was already compromised. Yeah. It's the other one. I, I just forget his name. Yes. He's, it's the other one who so was... Uh, they, are, they are saying, allegedly, uh, they are not ruling out the fact that it, some of them are even saying that the unknown one, the name is not out of that one. Eh? He's on the documentary saying yes. this. Yes. I just forget the name of that that officer, but he's very big in and the police. And through the questioning... Most of, of these people, I even think. that police who was part of the people who came first, they are claiming eventually considered that that scene was, was already compromised. compromised. So, then you talk about science. Before you talk about science, you talk about facts. When you collect let, let your us facts. Let not forget Musia who left the scene for hours without finishing to collect the evidence. He couldn't also, account where he was. He couldn't. also couldn't see some of the cartridges. He found them tomorrow, the next morning. When there was who? With, with uh, Mshasho. Mshasho, that, 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 root, that root cop. Yes, yes. the female. Mm. Mshasho is the one who found another cartridge just on top of the kitchen counter in the morning after several hours. And you, you look uh, at what Mshasho's responsibilities are, in fact, about that scene. 
what were they? Was it to take the pictures or pictures? Yeah, it was pictures. But Musia's job was the one to do all of that and somehow his camera he says was not working. Yes. And and then many other okay. excuses. So and then you talk about the science <laughs> around the bullet. No. How how uh, how can science not fail in a situation where like that. human intervention could have happened? So those are the things about this case that if if you if you don't watch it every day like we do we speak about it like this as if we are part of it but we are not, not. because we follow everything there. We use information that's already there. Yeah, we follow everything there in, in pub in the public space and I mean they talk and they there are recordings you can start watching. I don't know how long is it going to take you. You you go back to De Novo because we also first started in Vingo there. So you you watch it now to you it's a clear conviction and how the judge is behaving now and some of the things that are happening i mean it's a clear conviction to you mm. those people should be convicted but because you are from the documentary level we, we just reading that just hearing hearing that just 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 listening to to how they narrate the documentary bom togo saying that benga tingeningi lozi yoku it's you start looking at this case different you know i can remember after the incident itself i didn't know much about what could have happened what had happened and everything like that but i don't remember hearing much on longwe in fact i was surprised when he yes, did that made interview with metro fm in 2015 was it 2018 mm. 2018 he did that interview with Metro FM when yeah. he contradicted himself and I was like how who is this now I was very shocked yeah, to we were me all shocked. it was like a new character and, and then, then with the twitter account men's not bury the rule and then you go now to the to the uh, uh, hospital no one mentions longwe mm. i think only longwe himself said he was did you say he was there It's after De Novo where Tumelo now I think placed him somewhere in the hospital. Yeah. Even Zandi, they all of a sudden now could place Londe and Zandi said that he came with his mother. Remember all of those contradictions. Yeah, yeah. And then someone else said that uh, he came by himself with his father or something like mm. that. It was it, a lot of contradictions. It is difficult to to ignore the the inconsistencies that are happening there. And but to say that, or even question, was he ever there? Was he ever there? Because from from the time when when uh, he allegedly ran out, which now we are according to the confession later finding out that actually he could have passed people that he never mentioned. And another person also asked about the cleaning up. Remember, Mapiri. Mm. Mm. allegedly she and then after cleaning up you find the blood drips and drops of the blood of that that, that is it is difficult what could have been the reason for cleaning up it, i mean it, if it there's any information is there is anything to go by i mean it could in mean fact, that one would, would blood question, was also there in fact one would question how did you find the blood when it was after cleaning how how did you manage to find that blood so many questions you know uh, someone mopped or something and then you still are able to find the blood on on what on the was thing. the reason for mopping what was the reason for removing and whoever blood? was mopping how did he leave the other blood down there How did he leave it? Perhaps it was somebody else's blood that was the priority. It should have been moved. Allegedly. Now that you are hearing these allegations from this journalist, 
you start questioning differently as to say now maybe the motive to clean maybe this journalist is coming to that gen- to that direction of the motive to clean was removing longo's blood allegedly mm mm hi guningi guys so so now from all this confusion how do you come to a conclusion to say that clearly these people got in their house and they did what they did hmm. Hmm? how and they told everyone to clean after they were done doing what they were doing and and we are still waiting for the lawyer that uh, baloyi said is going to call they must not call that lawyer uban I mean and I mean the police that said they are not going to the the state I mean the defense wanted to call and then he said no that those are part of the people that are going to might come and confess um, I oh, mean and, yes, and, and testi- testify for the state for yeah, we we're, we're still going to wait for things like that where is mapir you know uh, and then you'd say such as such this piece is destroying the case how in fishy fishy yo this case guys yo it's the most confusing case this but this case is overwhelming like i've never seen be, anything like this in my entire existence but it shouldn't be confusing this much if really no it's a simple one but it's become so complicated where it literally feels like people are fighting for their lives and when people are fighting for their lives they are capable of anything that's exactly how you you view. and 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 when we say if i was a charge already i would have a lot of doubts about this case <sighs> the current judge. if i was a judge i would i would doubt i mean i would question such things I don't think the current judge is interested in that. It's that theory of the science is correct. You see that science thing is correct. It forgetting so that science when the scene was already contaminated. We are coming from AVL that is debunked by Sufiso. Do right? you know? He is debunking it. He's saying it's made up. There's also the issue of the cell phone records. We analyzed it on the on the show. It did not come together. It did not. That's why there's no warrant of arrest for Kelly even yet. I mean, if you are saying that there was contact between Kelly and these people, there should have been a warrant of arrest by now, right? Mm. It's been how many months? Six months. You have since you have the cell phone. You have a cell phone. Uh, you have a cell phone testified. record. You have a cell phone record, and the testimony, the the confession. Yes, you cannot arrest someone on, on the basis of confession, but after hearing that that name from the confession, and then if a cell phone record confirms that there was a conversation between these people, then why not? You have the link that you wanted. Why? Why not? Why not to acting on it? Now we have to sit here and speculate all the time. And then you get a media that says, "Yes, there might have been a mastermind." uh because the confessions are saying this hey these confessions are are are, are, are well, not the west it. it's not even it's not the west it does not combine it can never combine it talks those confessions talk about saturday they talk about butelezi the other ones three people in the house they talk about five people in the, in, in, in that yard three people with the other one from Spear it's saying that there was a Senzo and uh, Zandi and Kelly in the house uh, everyone else is not being talked about and then the other confession has different sets of accused hitmen you talk about two shots three shots you know one shot it's not clear I there were people outside who did not see people coming there. out of the house or only saw three people coming out of of that yard 
I learned the flow. But yet they did not see Bom Togo, uh, who also came from the same yard. Mm-mm. But they managed to see Zandi, or oh, it Zandi was crying from far, coming to them. Isn't type saying? Type saying yes. I mean, you just listen to that man. This is a township, by the way. In a township, they see everything. Township people see everything. But somehow they did not see all of these things happening. They did not. So, we, 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 we are here today. We, we are listening. And, and what sounds like it's adding value, we will definitely look at it. If you ask me my own opinion, mm-hmm. this, this kind of makes a bit of sense. It does, doesn't it? You know, I'm not saying it's, it's true. It's alleged, obviously. But, but it would make it, it put sense it puts the, the piece cleaning. it puts the piece on a certain puzzle that is missing a certain piece. Why you know? clean? Because we have been asking about the whereabouts of Longway. We have been asking when did he come back from running and looking for neighbors that he never got in any case. When did he come back from calling the police that at some point he forgot the phone, actually? You know, what happened after that? Where was his car? Mm. You know, there are a lot of questions. And then you hear a story like this. And then you're hearing that person is allegedly being now um, taunted as a person who's killing the case. For revealing this piece of information. Now if we and are if, from if it's that important and they've been holding on to it, I, I don't know. I just I just feel like already this case is <laughs> it's already headed in a direction that we we were not expecting. And how does the revealing of this information ruined the case when we are at this point with what's happening in court. What was the worst that could happen? Mm? What's the worst that could happen from the public knowing about this information? And I feel like at this point, there are certain um, things that are happening with relation to people who have exclusive information where it feels like they are baiting and baiting and baiting and we're not really getting anything. Yeah, you, you are not giving us the... The, the gist. I, I think this, I took... I, I, I After being told to look at this, I took it because it when you read it, after reading it, you're like, okay, let me fit it to the story. You know, mm. let me fit you to the stories that I've had. Then you start feeling like, yeah, this is the part that could have been missing. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. You start feeling like, yeah, that this is the part that could have been missing. Maybe this is what was missing. And obviously, it's, it's alleged, like any other stories that we have had, even in the ones that are in court, it's just alleged at this point in time. Mm. Because I've been thinking to myself, I'm like, we, we feel, I feel baited. I don't want to lie. I feel like. And no one is going to say who, something. Who, who has information is using it for their own, I don't know, their own, could I say benefit or what? I don't know how to put it. But it's like we're being baited. We, we, we are being baited because we care so much about this case some people are using it to push whatever they are pushing, in my opinion. And it feels like we'll never get to the bottom of this. So when this particular investigating journalist re- decides to reveal this information and she gets so much backlash to say, you are ruining the case. This is the first time that I've seen somebody release information pertaining to the case being accused of such saying that they will ruin the case it's the first time for me yes it's I, like I also they are not a part of a certain group that is supposed to release certain types of information and what makes them special that's a question that we should always ask what makes you special for you to be able to release that information 
and claim all the claims that you claim sometimes, what makes them special? We pick and choose, obviously, who we are going to listen to. I do. Yeah, Mr. Anonymous really I do. does. Eh? So really when does. I read something and I say, this thing is not going anywhere, I, I, I would not come here and, and speak share about it. it with confidence because at the end of the day, you don't have receipts, you don't have files, you don't have uh, the nitty gritties. You don't have anything that should the person that's being talked about come and say, you said one, two, three, four. You don't have anything to back it up. There's nothing. There's nothing. So, why And this it feels like that all the time. It's like a certain people are the only ones who can do that. But when this particular investigative journalist says, I have receipts and I can prove this, they are being accused of ruining the case. As it Why? is alleged, obviously. You still allege even with this in this this journalist because this could be but all I was interested in is the piece. This piece putting it in the puzzle. This piece it it sounds more more like it feels it feels like it feels the space that was left, the void that was left Especially by the untold it, story. Yeah, when it comes more so if we still might have long way coming to a stand, at least if we have a bit of what could have happened, then we build up on that theory and also maybe take into consideration what he's going to say. Mm. I'm very interested in longest testimony now. I am. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something to look forward to. We'll listen to it patiently like we do. Mm, something to look forward to. We have to. I, I need to hear his side of the story. A lot is going on. A lot is going on. I need to hear his side of the story. Magas Kulule Ulongwe. Set the Meiwa family free, please. Because I see that maybe there were hopes that by this time we would have lost interest. But it's not happening. Well, it's not. It's not. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's not happening. It's not we're not losing happen. interest. It's They're addictive. More I, the series is really addictive. I won't lie. We're getting intrigued and intrigued and we're getting lured in. Every time we feel like, oh, I'm exhausted. No, Something I won't lie. Happens. This, this, is a, this, is a, this is a series. Like It gives that feeling of a series. You remember when we, if you watch Prison Break, yes, you 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 want to stop and study, but and at the time I was a student, you, but you 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 want to watch more one more episode, and then that one would lead you to another one. Uh, unfortunately, this is the case with this with this with this uh, uh, case. It, it has become a series. Yes. yes. That changes every day, any time. There's no consistency or whatsoever. People can testify about the future that at the time had not happened. Isn't there like a seer or, or a someone who can see spirituality? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm at that level. <laughs> Mr. Anonymous, I'm at that level where I would actually not mind having a seer or a spiritual somebody to look at what happened in the house and tell you what and action. just give it to us yeah whatever it is call techie will take it because hi these people are never going to let us know then you don't need those ones that are on facebook no you just need those ones that are unknown you that go, that can mm. really see mm. Mm. I, I feel like maybe that's what's going to help solve this Gives you case. closure. Yeah. Because I shame high. It gives you closure. No. It gives you closure because that's why it tells you what happened. Then without them being there, they just tell you this is how it happened. That's it. As I'd even recommend like the Mayua family to not even watch the case itself. It just makes your not blood the pressure. Not the male, the watch. The mother does not watch. 
the mom, especially mm. the mom, oh, mom, I just don't, don't, y- y- blood pressure, it, it, it just, it's, it, it just makes you sick. Yeah, someone is saying, you already know though, Emily, you just need a confirmation, maybe. You think? That's what they are saying. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if I can have a confirmation from Isangoma as Julie or something. <laughs> they won't they won't agree to to come on a public platform. If you can call anonymous and just put this whole thing together and just say this is what happened. Set us free. Because now you just narrate according to what you see. You what tell you us, see spiritually. This what is what I, this then. is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. I cause I every time I'm thinking I you know now I'm tired. Now I'm leaving this case alone. Something happens. Wapa. New piece of information. New piece of information. It's like a series that won't end. And I feel like oh now now it's about it's been almost ten years but so, so someone is saying guys don't crack your skulls with the journalists they know the truth but they are part of the narrative creation the greedy of capitalism has collapsed the moral wall of our society the professions of judges police lawyers and prosecutors are all trapped in this cap- in this capture of the greedy of personal financial benefits through mm. some are just driven by fear of being sacked from their employment, not necessarily because they are corrupt beneficiaries, but I can see you guys are arguing this case with all the passion as if we are in a normal society. This is a mafia state, guys, forget making making sense out of everything that's happening. Mafia activities don't make sense. That's That's the nature. Sure, guys, are we there? Are we there yet? Yeah, we 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 we, we would not pronounce Isn't such. That bad. <laughs> How would not pronounce? I don't have, I don't have the guts to pronounce such. Yeah, but uh, it, 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 it's it's interesting to read. Some part of me is, is, is refusing. It's like there's no way, not in South Africa or land. But eh, when people say stuff like this, it's a hard reality check is to say you know what ah. <laughs> hey, sometimes I laugh man. Hey, hey, our, our South Africa amen our South Africa Tech. our land <laughs> ah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. no guys uh, basically that was it mm, that was what we wanted to update you about um we, we we will not be taking other people and bringing them here the names and whatsoever we take what we feel is right please like the video share the video um and gives a thumbs up if if it deserves it and and also it's a good build up i would say as a match a soccer match when you are about to start you need analysis to analyze <laughs> it's a build up before what the 14th or 15th of april we're not far. It's the, it's the eighth uh, well, very soon. Yeah, very soon. Maybe next week. I think it's next week that when we will be starting. Today's the seventh. So So be preview to this information. To hold it. And then when we start, you don't ask us questions. When you start moving. Yes, you know we speak in parables because you know, kuningi. sometimes you can't just say what you want to say. Blah! Like that. Yes, he's, 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 he's giving you... Otherwise, you'll be in house He's giving you the, 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 the prophetic way of saying, the only thing I know for sure, Emil, is that Senzo was shot by someone he knows. That's the only thing for sure that you know. <laughs> At least you have something to <laughs> At that least too. something. <laughs> And right, he says something. Right, guys. You know thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. Like the video. Share the video. And that's it. You guys know the the, the green. Uh, Sims Clava, thank you for being here. Uh, Busan Sibanda, thank you. Um, Togo Masondo, thank you. Uh, Simpiwe Ingwane, thank you uh, for being here. And then uh, Kobas, thank you for being here. Dan Tandov, thank you for being here. Um, let me see who. Dan, thank you for being here. 
Mami, thank you for being here. Tapiwa, thank you for being here. Toko, thank you for being here. Moses, and then uh, Belta, thank you. Uh, Patimo, thank you. Um, Winston, thank you. Uh, Winston, thank you. Uh, let me see, let me see. Yeah, uh, Tabis have mentioned you. Mamela, Mamela, thank you for being here. Um, yeah. That's uh that's that's basically it. Buleng. Thank you for being here. I see you. And then Cam Child, thank you. Um Tandazile, thank you. Moses, thank you. Um Tulitus, thank you for being here. Uh Mabud, thank you for being here. Debra, thank you for being here. Uh Sazini. Thank you, Sazini. Thank you for being here. Uh, Nolundi. Thank you for being here. Uh, Lepoko. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, thank you, George. Thank you, Oe. To jo- thank you, Bongani. Thank you, uh, Valentine. Thank you, Jeffrey. Valentine. Valentine. Yes. Koli. Uh, uh, thank you for being here. Yvonne. Thank you. Yeah, that's all. That's all of you guys. I think I covered almost all of you. Uh, um, Abdul, thank you. Yeah, it's a bye from us. Please like the video, share the video. And uh, someone is calling. Someone wants to say something. Let's let's give them a chance. But remember, speak in parables. No name dropping. No name dropping. Just speak in a way that you speak, but you become smart about it. Zanzi, hello. Okay. Now I'm going to pass this because I can hear myself. Not a nice feeling. Hello. 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 Can you reduce your volume? Like reduce the volume in the background. Thank you. Um, Mzanzi. Yes, Mzanzi. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay. All right. right. I gave you a chance. <laughs> Don't kill me. I did, but I'm still hearing myself <laughs> thinking people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, TD, I'm more happy. Thank you. Uh, we see you. So it's a bye from Cindy us, guys. I'm happy. Thank you so much. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, that is it from us. If you f- hey, caught us later, uh, yes, we we're here. Definitely, it's us. Uh, please like the video, share the video, and then continue doing what you do. The rest is yours. Thank you.